All righty. Uh, choose my champion. So, League Over Explained. And I have the blind pick. So, seeing as I have the blind pick, what I'm going to do is I am just going to go Leona. We're just going to go... Okay, this guy wants to go Kog'Maw. So, I'm going to actually go Thresh instead of Leona. Because he wants Kog'Maw and he's going to need a little bit of peel. So, I'm going to go Thresh for the Lantern. <laughs> okay, so they took... Janna into Thresh. Not a very good matchup for Janna. So the first thing I'm thinking is, as long as we don't get permaganked, I can probably win this lane myself. Um, I just have to play carefully around, around my flay range early levels. But matchup aside, I mean, my champ select is over. I've picked my champ. I basically just need to do my runes. So I'm going to try and wait to see what they pick, and then we will change our runes. That's the plan. And we have a Korean cat on our team, so it's unlosable. If they go something really aggro like Tristana, it's pretty good because Tristana is insane into, uh, rather, Thrash is insane into Tristana. I can stop her jump with my Flay. I can deny her from going in if I hold my spells. It's just really awkward for Tristana to try and play into Thresh. So, I mean, their champions are not good into my champ. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Uh, if I use my hook correctly and my Flay correctly, their champs are going to have a really, really hard time getting onto Kog'Maw. Um, I can body block for Urgot, I can flay Kha'Zix jump, Tristana jump, like, they shouldn't, in theory, be able to just dive on my cog if I hold my spells. It's a restaurant which serves Israeli food, that's cool. Thresh maybe? Yes, I'm playing Thresh. What would be a bad matchup for Thresh? Um, Thresh has some pretty neutral matchups, some I would, mo pretty much every matchup I'd consider as a skill matchup for Thresh. There's no matchups I would outright say are bad. Anyway, let's do our runes. Um, I'm going to go double attack, uh, hex flash, and probably that's good. I'm all right with that. I'm not going to go biscuits, and I'm going to go aggressive in lane, so I'm going double adaptive force. That's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Not much else to say. So bad matchups for Thresh. I mean, you can get bad matchups in a variety of different ways but it's mainly skill matchup because you can play very safe as thresh you can play with lantern you can chill you can farm you can scale or you can play aggressive he's, he's a very flexible champion so even in bad matchups there's good ways of playing it but stuff like blitzcrank when you're getting ganked a lot nautilus when you're getting ganked a lot um if you don't know how to play the matchup stuff like uh like alistair can be hard if you don't know what to do what you're doing but anyway cool uh i'm just gonna focus on Trying to flay Janna level 1. Okay, this guy wants to invade and my whole team is going with him, so I'm just going to move. I don't really think invading is good here, but they have Galio and Janna Tornado, but... It's okay. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Which champ would I ban if I play Thresh? Uh, I personally like to ban Katarina. Um, Silas, Lulu, those kind of champs. Lulu is fine for Thresh in lane, but what happens, what tends to happen is most lower elo Thresh players struggle to, they get outscaled very hard by, by Lulu. Um, and Lulu can also go stuff like Mikhail's, which makes you a little useless. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, at least. So yeah, Lulu tends to just outscale in low elo anyway, so I, I like to ban Lulu in general, it's just... It's just a good general ban for pretty much every elo, even high elo, I ban it sometimes. I'm going to start charging my flay. It takes 10 seconds to charge. And if I can get a flay onto Janna with an auto, and Kogma walks up with me with Halo Blades, we, we realistically could kill her level 1. I've snuck in here without getting seen, and it looks like they're leashing, so I'm just going to wait for Janna to show. She probably doesn't know I'm here, actually. Galio is warding. Galio has just warded there. Okay, they, they probably are going to expect this, but I'm going to walk up. I'm just going to ignite here. Uh, she didn't realize that I was I had a health pot ticking. Unfortunately, I still died like a monkey. What I thought I could do is actually flay her back into my Kog'Maw, but there is really no reason for me to risk that. 
Oh well. We got the double kill. It's good. Unfortunately, Cog's wave isn't, so I don't really think I need to roam anywhere. We can't kill mid lane. I'm just gonna walk bot and make him make sure the wave is fixed. Yeah, that's kind of why I took Adaptive Force, because if, if I walk up level one and go for these kind of plays, it's very, very hard for uh for them to out damage me. I really monkeyed it at the at the last part and just gave Jana a free kill, which was unnecessary, but it's alright. It's not the end of the world. Galio has no flash. I'm gonna put that in chat. Janna Flash is the same time as mine. Tristana Flash is also the same time as mine, roughly. So I'm just going to use that as a timer. My Kog'Maw is level 3. If Tristana jumps in, my goal is basically just to flay her either she goes in or goes out, depending on whether we're winning or losing the fight. Alright, when she CSs, I'm going to try and hook her here. Never mind. Gonna make sure I don't get hit by a Trisana E, and then we're gonna take a plate. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, this one looks like it might be a fast one. Maybe we'll have time for another. <laughs> yeah. I actually shouldn't have taken that creep, but it's alright. I should have another stack. I'm gonna hard shove this and give Kog'Maw a good base. Use my Flay and use all my spells on the way fast. I'm gonna auto the back backline creeps. Make sure they don't freeze. All right. And uh, yeah, we're doing good. I'm also going to slash ignore all. And we're going to focus on the game. I will unmute uh, their emotes though, but it is what it is. I don't really have to buy anything here besides a pink ward, so I'm just going to chill. That's the Galio Ignite. I'm going to path mid, make sure that uh, the wave is really bad for her here, but make sure that this guy can get red buff. I'm actually going to walk through here and see if Kha'Zix goes for red. I'm going to walk up here because Kha'Zix has a plant here he can use and I don't really want him to take it. Alright, he's doing crab maybe. They don't have a ward here, so I could realistically go for this. Okay, Rek'Sai's not coming and there's a big wave, so I'm not going to go. I'm just going to take the creeps. I have to wait two autos if I don't have my E stack to get the creeps. Alright, this guy has a lot of attack speed, not a lot of attack damage, so I'm going to help him CS. And then the last one, the minions will fix it for him. It's time to pink, because Kha'Zix is probably around bot lane and I don't have enough vision to play super aggro. Yeah, Rek'Sai is doing my job for me by pinging that uh, Janna's missing. Looks like they're just chilling super far back. I do not think that they would give up this much farm just to try and bait me in. Are they on Drake? Nope. Okay, well, I'm not going to face check then if they're not on Drake. This guy... Okay, I need to play kind of ready to lantern this guy. I don't want to show that we're doing Drake that obviously, but I'm going to be ready to lantern him just in case. Throwing a wild hook out, kind of a ambitious hook right there. I don't know if I was ever going to land that shit. 10 seconds and we can go. We've got a big stacked wave, so my plan is basically just to invade with the stacked wave. Walk into their jungle. Probably need to push the next wave hard. Let's push this wave. Yeah, I'm just going to push this wave really fast. I'm not going to play aggro. I'm just going to walk in with Rek'Sai. All right, maxing W here. It's going to be very useful for Cog. Let's check if they have any camps up. They do not. They don't even have vision here. We could definitely get a pick if they walk up here. All right, they pinked it. Galio used R. Nice, Rek'Sai W. Very nice, Rek'Sai R. That was cleanly played by my jungler. You belong with me. We're just gonna we're just gonna chill for a bit, I guess. I'm not looking to overdo it right now because our jungle is hard stomping. Just keep zoning. We're 20 CS up. The wave is pushing into us now. Basically, just save my flay for 
Tristana's, uh, Tristana's jump, as you guys saw. I just have to wait a little bit. Rexa used his W first. Tristana even wastes her flash. Exactly how you play this matchup, if you can land hooks like that. Pretty straightforward. If she gets hooked and she doesn't insta jump, then she's just dead. Or flash, rather. She could flash as well. Kind of not good for her to trade flash for my hook, seeing as my hook is like an 18 second cooldown. Alright, I could have flashed for that, but I actually don't think it's worth to flash for that. I'm going to save my flash for Tristana. I can just give him Lantern. We can hard shove this and then back. If I had known Rek'Sai was going to flash, like if I had predicted it, I would have started hooking a little earlier and tried to catch her in the knockup because I was in range. But I reacted a little slowly. Right, I'm just going to take a base and we're chilling. And now I get my Mobies and I just move on the map with Rek'Sai. Wherever he goes, I go. Wherever Katarina goes, I can go. And the game is over. They can't play the game anymore. They're not allowed to take over their jungle. That's the plan. So I'm going to buy Ruby Crystal Mobies, two Control Wards. I still have refillable, so we're chilling. We're chilling. We're doing really good. Plan now is just, uh, oh, yikes. She's dead. She can stall them for a little bit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. This guy looks like he's about to make a play even without Katarina, so I'm going to start moving towards him right now. I need to lantern him out once he goes in, because he doesn't really have good ways of escaping. He has no flash. Okay, I'm just leaving the leaving the ward and we're just going straight for this. Okay. Janna went top. Didn't go so well for her. Right, I, I didn't manage to clear the ward in front of Harold, but I can go behind Galio right now. Using my Mobies. Janna's just spawned and she's going bot lane. Let's see if uh, this Galio walks up. I mean, it's pretty obvious, so he's probably not going to walk up. Or is he? Uh, well, that was interesting. Okay. Cool. Galio, no ignite, no flash. It's kind of risky for me to walk here. So I'm just going to ask for my jungler's help real quick. All right, cool. My, Trist my Kog'Maw actually might have to flash. Yeah, this is a really bad play by them. They're going to get TP'd on if they're not careful. All right, Kog had to burn both sums. Janna has no flash. I could have flashed over that and probably killed her, but let's just play it safe right now. Again, flashing for Janna doesn't feel super good when she's 1 and 3. I think it's better to flash for jungle or AD here and deny them farm. Okay, we can take plates here. I'm gonna actually step away and give Cog the full plate. I'm going to have to flash here. Oh my gosh, Harold, please don't kill me. Thank you. Galio is on his way. Okay, I can actually play Lantern here. I'm going to not show because even if I hook here, I still die. Oh, missed that. Okay, they got chain CC'd, unfortunately. Yeah, I missed my hook there on Galio. I tried to max range him and it didn't work. It's kind of my bad. But I was chilling in the bush because I pretty much had no backup. Even if I hooked Galio, it wouldn't have done anything. I had to wait for Viego to TP. Okay, we're losing a lot of plates for this, so I need to be on the map fast here. As uh, top lane is getting shredded by Mr. Ergo. Cool. Looks like we lose top tower for this though. Ergot is quite strong. He's gotten a lot of plates. I'm going to do my best to make sure we have... Uh, we have at least some compensation. Kog'Maw's going top. I kind of don't like that. Yeah, I, I think Rek'Sai Rex agrees with me. Kind of bad. That Kog'Maw should go mid lane and I just play towards Rek'Sai and Katarina's side. 
I'm gonna ward around Cog anyway because he is a scaling element of my team and I want him to get farmed no matter what. If he's sitting there not getting farmed, then uh it's not very not very good for Cogma to Okay, Rek'Sai doesn't have R, but he's going to have it in like a few seconds. I'm going to tank that for him. I think I'm just dead. Alright. Wasn't super great. Alright, Janna no flash. Little bit of an over aggro play by me, probably. Didn't didn't really have good vision of Galio or Urgot, but it's alright. Rek'Sai has ult now, so I think Urgot dies. Good. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice shot down there. I'm gonna still keep pathing towards Kog'Maw here. If Kog'Maw keeps scaling at this rate, then the game is gonna be over by about 20 minutes. No reason to panic. We got a giga, giga strong Kog'Maw. And our Rek'Sai is also turbo fed, so... How do I put the champ icons on the side? It is interface, uh, show... something like show... Team frames on left, there you go. Show team frames on left, that is what it is. Does this guy know I'm here? No, okay. Right, I'm gonna path with my Rek'Sai once he finishes his camps. I've got good vision for my Cog. Galio has no R, it should be pretty straightforward to get control of top, take top tower, and then rotate Cogmo mid lane. That's what the plan is. I'm gonna do that. All right, he says they have we have vision there. I just cleared all this so I can just play towards top. We're winning bot lane as well, so I mean this game should be pretty pretty unlosable at this point. What item do I go? I'm going Shirelia's. Almost always I go Shirelia's and Thresh in this patch. Just going to give Kog'Maw solo XP. And see if anyone's stupid enough to face check. Galio's probably just playing in this brush. And we just chill. Why do I go Shrelia's? Um, in terms of build path, it's like just the best. In terms of active item, it's one of the best active items in the game right now. Oof, man. That was kind of bad lantern placement, but we managed to get there. Galio ignited and we got tower. I'm really happy. We can go mid now. Um, in terms of mythic items, there's not really other mythic items. I mean, Locket is alright if you want to play really defensively, but um, it's not like... In my opinion, it's just... Shrelia's is just a simply better version of every mythic item because mobility gives you a defensive option and also an offensive option. You can engage and disengage with it. Oh, I didn't ignite him in time. Okay. Nice champion, I guess. Yikes. Well, that was a bit of a spooky situation. I could have maybe flashed, but Kog'Maw would have died if I had flashed away from Urgatar. Unfortunately, I was kind of screwed. Ooh, nice try. Yeah, that fight was a bit messy, honestly. That was not a clean fight by us. Alright, Urgot flashed there for sure. I'm pretty sure Kha'Zix flashed. I could have killed Kha'Zix if I had ignited him when I had vision. Best part about this situation is Viego, um, not Viego, Kha'Zix is, uh, not Kha'Zix, that's the wrong champ. Urgot also just inted. Um, Kog'Maw's shutdown didn't go down. That's what I was trying to say. Kog'Maw's shutdown is still there, which is good. Nope, he got it. I'm going to try my best to just poke my head in here with my sweeper and see if I can put vision down. Well, this... This is looking a bit scary. Ah, I could have maybe flayed there. I have hook in two. Alright, yeah, they went really hard on my Kog'Maw there. Unfortunately, I couldn't really stop them. I wasted my hook trying to predict where Kha'Zix would be. 
It was probably a waste because Kog'Maw looked like he was turbo dead. I should have played that fight with Viego instead of playing it with... I'm going to Lantern Viego and see if I can get the assist for uh, the Kha'Zix kill. Oh, would you look at that? I didn't. Pepe hands. Close, though. Close. I'm just going to buy two pinks and we can try again to... This game is a bit crazy. Enemy team is taking every single fight. Like, literally every single fight they are taking. Which is good for us, because we're turbo far ahead. But at the same time, I, like, I don't know. The, there's no reason for them to force these fights. They do scale okay. They have Urgot scaling, they have Tristana. And they have a bunch of ways of stopping our melee champs from killing them. It's just... I guess it's Diamond Elo. Everyone wants to fight 24-7. Managed to barely get enough damage. I couldn't time my flay perfectly because he was starting to walk just out of range of my flay. The Tristana. But it works out. It works out. I want to siege really badly. I'm just going to ping. Awesome. I have Shrelias here. Uh, unfortunate. I should have killed there. Uh, that was kind of my bad. I should have hooked him or flayed him, and we would have killed. I got tornadoed as I was trying to flay. Janna's maybe tornadoing here. Yeah, kind of a mistake by me right there. I should have just popped my spells early rather than late. Yeah, I'm not sure what that guy was doing. That was, like, there's nobody around him. Uh, he pressed R on himself, I think. Viego. Alright, well, I mean, we can use the, uh, the pressure from Galio dying here to probably just back off, put some vision down. I'm gonna put a ward down here, sweep, and try and clear some wards towards Katarina. Put some extra vision here. They know we're in here now. Bit of a ambitious hook, honestly. Rek'Sai still has R, but... Okay, we have to R on... Oh, shit, there's a Kha'Zix here. I'm on my way. He's gonna jump over this wall. Unfortunately, Kha'Zix is quite strong with Prowler's Claw. I'm not gonna bother wasting my time. I'm just gonna base. They took mid-tower and they're taking quite a lot. So I'm just gonna get back... We are also taking a lot, but I think Urgot is probably going top here. Yeah. I think Kog'Maw's probably dead. Oh, never mind. Oh, he flashed the E. Okay, good job, Kog. He flashed the Kog Urgot E. Kog. I'm going to put my vision around Herald. Uh, not Herald, Baron. Even though we have Soul coming up, I think Kog'Maw absolutely demolishes this Baron. Uh, rip. Kog's definitely overstaying a tiny bit. Unlucky. Thought maybe I could grab Janna there, but she's too good. I did not mean to auto that. That's kind of sad. Maybe Kazix will face check here. All right, Rexai is on his way, so I'm actually I'm actually gonna stay. And Urgot's in that brush. Okay, should not have gone there. My bad. That was not a very good situation. Yeah, Urgot uh, getting picks there is super bad. I should have either flashed instantly as soon as I saw him, or uh, just tried to suicide. Kind of awkward, because now I think they actually do get the Nash. I think we should just back off here. My team might be able to smurf it, but it's unlikely. Okay, never mind, we won the fight. Yeah, they're trolling. Viego's gonna 1v9 here. Good, good Tristan ult, though. Uh, they're still on Nash, however. Oh, Rek'Sai did have R. Oof. Sheesh. What a, what a fight. 
Okay. Well, they actually don't get enough off of that to stop us from doing uh, Drake. That was totally my ma my bad, not my teams. It's just my mistake. And uh, thankfully, we're still far enough ahead to win that fight. But that's exactly how you throw a game. You don't expect uh, their most fed member to be on the map. And you do something dumb like that. So kind of a good learning lesson right there. Don't do what I just did. Just be patient. Just wait. Galio is probably on his way here. Katarina does a decent amount of damage. She has Nasher's Tooth. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be close. I don't like this. No. Unfortunately, I did not have enough damage to out DPS her. Got. Holy moly, this guy is super fed. Let's see if I can catch Tristana here. I am fast. Alright, never mind. Tristana flushed. That is unfortunate. That is most unfortunate. Yeah, we definitely should have tried to TP for that. But it's okay. This game is going to probably go a little longer than it should because I made a mistake. But it's alright. There's a realistic chance that, like, if I throw at the next Baron, we could lose, so I gotta play a little better. Make sure I'm not griefing it too much. Okay. I have my Shrelias up for next fight. Should be able to just peel Kog'Maw and we win. They don't have enough firepower to kill Kog unless Urgot gets on him. And I don't think they're gonna be able to do that. Let's -a go. I'm gonna Lantern Cog and stay a little bit out of vision. We might be able to bait some cooldowns here. Let's see. I think Mikhail's after Knight's Vow is probably a good shout. Mr. Urgod is hanging around. They haven't put wards down here, which is really bad for them. Okay, we stole the blue. I do not really want to fight this. Okay, well, I hooked Urgot. That should be uh, at least an inhib, I think. Nice R. Okay, Galio no flash. I think we can take this with Kogma. We should be able to. They have no Galio flash. I don't think they can reach Kog anymore. I'm gonna look for hooks here. Okay, Urgot has TP in 10. Charlie is up in 10 as well. Have I reached Challenger? Yes, sir. We're actually 690 LP right now in Challenger. Won both our games today. We've been winning a lot. So, yep. I've been Challenger for a couple days. Yes, sir. <laughs> been a uh, been good, good time on my main account. You can exclamation rank to check my rank. Or you can exclamation OPGG if you want to see the OPGGs. I am going to try to play purely for Peeling Cog. Even though I think um, me and... Kha'Zix and me and Rek'Sai and Viego diving actually wins the fight. I think Kog'Maw probably is just a safer bet. He's going tank Kog, he's going Randwins. Probably gonna... Uh, I think it's I think it's a good build because they have full, like pretty much only AD champs. Galio's starting to deal no damage. Last time you were here, I was one game away. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Urgot is here. That's good. It was a good blue trinket by Kog. That should be a kill. Just using Shrelia's and Kog'Maw's insane damage. I don't have Shrelia's for this guy, however. He has no flash. Nice. Rek'Sai understood what it meant to go in. I like that. Close. Nice try. We got the Shrelia's. Looks like Katarina might die, though. <gasps> Ooh, okay. We got a bit of a faker player in the mid lane. Now, that was unexpected. Didn't expect her to 1v2. 
Looks like Urgot's also dead, so we can get another inhib. I'm just gonna ping my team and tell them to go for inhib. I'm gonna try and be here for the wave crash mid lane. I'm not gonna waste my flash. Mr. Cog is going super hard though. Interesting. Janna has no ult. Again, I'm just going to focus on making sure Galio can't taunt my Cog. That's pretty much the only hard CC they have that can reach him. Alright, Galio no Zanyas. Yeah, this is looking a bit of a, a bit of a mess. I think we can end. Not if I do stuff like that, however. That guy's dead. Just leave him. It's fine. I can lantern cog out. And I'm dead. It was close. We're getting in hip top, so it's not the end of the world. They burned a lot for that. The game is pretty much over now. I actually think I could have won that fight if I had not randomly hooked a minion in the middle of it. But it's all good. They have no more inhibs. Game is now done. I am most likely going to go either Redemption or Mikhail's. Probably a Redemption because I think Mikhail's is only really possible on Galio Taunt and it's not long enough. Like I can prevent Galio Taunt with my Flay. So I'm just going to go Mikhail's. Uh, bleh, redemption. That's the word. And uh, what else can I say about this game? That's it. That's the... I made one big mistake around Nash that I really think is a pretty instructive mistake. Don't do what I did, which is switch your brain off and just walk into Nash vision when you're, uh, you don't have your waves pushed. Because Urgot actually made a really solid play there, so good job for him. Well played Urgot. He nearly won the game for them. He's doing his best to try and 1v9, but there's a bit of an AD carry uh, item diff right now. I am going to make sure that Kha'Zix can't steal, because this guy has a lot of burst with his uh, full combo. That's my goal, and if we start Nash. Alright, Kha'Zix is- it doesn't look like Kha'Zix is even gonna try. I need to make sure the Knights foul Kog'Maw here as well. Yeah, they're scared to face check. Good. Alright, we should be able to walk it in. Galio still has R, have to remember that. Okay, we just got to walk walk the uh, minions in and it's pretty much GG. They don't have enough wave clear to deal with this. Galio does no no damage with uh, to minions. Unfortunately, I couldn't kill him. All right, well, you have to burn flash reactively, which is good. I can Shrelia's to peel. Man, that damage is kind of insane. And that's game. GG well played. Nice cheeky little hook to end it off. See if I can hit this guy. Close. Alright. I mean, the main parts of that game were the level 1 where you just have to abuse the fact that you took double adaptive force and this lane is so hard for enemy team to play. Like, Kog'Maw out DPS's and out ranges Tristana super hard and he also took Kayla Blade's Kog, so there's no reason we should lose that. Unfortunately, I, I decided to go in and grief it to, <laughs> to Janna afterwards anyway. But it is what it is. What can I say? It happens. It happens. Cool. It's a good game. It's a good game. Rek'Sai definitely smurfed it. He played really good. Played really, really good.